The appropriate use of sterile technique is an important skill to possess as a registered nurse. Maintaining sterility on certain invasive procedures can help reduce the risk of infection in patients and thus promote a shorter length of hospital stay. This video is a quick look at the basics of sterile, sterile techniques and the procedures that require sterility. Before a procedure, it is important to identify if sterile technique is necessary. Using sterile supplies and gloves when not indicated is a waste of supplies and should be avoided. Here is a list of the common nursing procedures that require asepsis. These procedures need to be performed aseptically because the body tissues they come in contact with are particularly susceptible to infection after being introduced to microorganisms. Many wound dressings require the use of asepsis because they are deep and would provide instant access to the bloodstream. If a wound bed becomes infected with microorganisms, it will prolong healing time and could lead to sepsis. The urinary catheter insertions are also sterile procedures. The urinary tract is a sterile environment. A non-sterile procedure would introduce bacteria that could cause complications such as urinary tract infections, cystitis, pyelonephritis, or even sepsis. In the hospital, Sterile technique is appropriate for suctioning a tracheostomy. This is due to the risk of introducing a nosocomial infection to the respiratory tract. A central line is a direct highway to the vascular system and could cause systemic infection, which is why sterile techniques should be used. In some nursing procedures, such as an IV insertion, it is not necessary to use total asepsis. In this situation, only the ports of the IV system must remain sterile because these pieces become part of the tubing that leads to the vein. This is also true when spiking an IV bag. Only the actual spike of the IV tubing and the port of the IV bag into which you insert it need to remain sterile. Here are some basic rules when creating a sterile field. The sterile field, gloved hands, and sterile supplies must always remain above the waist and within your visual field. Never turn your back on the sterile field. Sterile touches sterile. Sterile gloves can only touch sterile equipment, and when either one touches something that is not sterile, they become contaminated. If any part of the sterile field becomes contaminated, discard and reset. Thanks for watching, <laughs> and good luck in your sterile endeavors.